on the Kentucky River today and just exploring the great little side tributaries here. And I decided to stop in at the Waterfront Grill and Gathering Place and talk with Deb Garrison a little bit about the history of this incredible waterway and the location here in Southern Clark County. Well, tell me, where are we? Uh, we're in the southwest part of Clark County, uh, right next to neighboring Madison County and really close to Fort Boonesboro State Park. This, there's been some uh, semblance of a building on this property since the late 1700s. Really? This building here, or this property here has had some sort of either a boat dock or marina or restaurant or grocery store for several years. Uh, we're right next to where the first ferry in Kentucky started back in the late 1700s. The kidnapping of the Boone Calloway girls happened right here in this stretch of water. Uh, it just so happens that Richard Calloway, which was one of the first founders of Boonesboro, he had made petition to the Virginia legislature, which Kentucky was not a commonwealth at the time. We were still in Virginia. Back in the late 1700s, he made petition to the Virginia legislature to start the first ferry. Oh, and they first granted ferry in first Kentucky? ferry in Kentucky, and so they granted him permission to do that. But sadly, after about another I don't know how many months it was, he started working on the ferry and he got ambushed by Indians and killed. Oh. And so Richard Henderson, who heard that name, associated with Boonesboro, took over. And then um, the ferry operated up until the 1930s when the first bridge was built here at Boonesboro across the Kentucky River. And you've got a bridge just down the way from yes, here. Yes, we have, yeah, this is our second bridge in the area, or, you know, <laughs> since the 30s. So I'm guessing you get a lot of paddlers through here. So you've been doing a tourism study recently. Yes. Tell me what are some of the things that you talk to folks about and um, what are what are your plans? Over the last several years, especially when the locks and dam system shut down here in Kentucky, the commercial boat traffic ceased here in this, in this stretch of the water, all the way from Ohio River down to here. And there wasn't really an economic development plan in place at the time to deal with the businesses that were here that had been operating for many years, so they all went out of business. Over the last several years, specifically, we've seen an insurgence of canoers and kayakers. And uh, we, in, over a course of uh, May through November, we interviewed uh, uh, people that would come down here to paddle. Uh, fishermen, just recreational paddlers, and we just talked to them about what they would, uh, what kinds of things they would like to see if they came to the area. Today we kind of just, we didn't really plan this. He was just like, you want to go kayaking? I like the fish, so yeah, I like the fish. So if there's, if there's fish out here, I'll definitely be back with a fishing pole. I mean, that's, you know, that's how it goes. We always catch something out here. It's a great river. Today I'm catching some uh, crappie and some bluegills and um, hoping to get a muskie up in here a little bit later. Yeah, it's close and I love it. Um, this pool's wonderful for fishing. I, I can go all up and down, but up, you know, below the dam where the water's falling and the fish congregate, that's a good spot. We just kayaked and stopped and had lunch and uh, we just yeah. went and went up a creek, which was pretty interesting. Yeah. The water's very clear up there versus it's so muddy down here. Yeah. <laughs> I was surprised how quiet it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There wasn't as many people coming in. You saw a bunch of kayakers, but out on the water, you didn't see hardly any yeah. kayakers at all. So, and a couple of boats went by, but nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. So, so that you like that? Oh yeah, yeah. The water's so, very smooth. It was interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. I love coming down here. Good spot to hang out and meet good people. I'm looking for a place for our neighborhood to gather, uh -huh. hence the grill and gathering. And so I really want to make this a location where the community feels comfortable coming here, having meetings, doing whatever they, you know, just getting together. It's a great place to stop off and take a rest. Absolutely. Deb, thank you so much for sharing all of the history with me. I'm sure we could sit and chat all day. Uh, yes, we could. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.